Hey guys, here is my war number 10 of the season. Now, for this war, we've got Warlock, Nick Fury, and Rintra. And I have a 7 fight war. So first up, on path 4, we've got these, um, this eye bomb and this Claire with Warlock. Um, pretty easy fights with Warlock. They both had willpower on as well, so even easier than normal. For this eye bomb, there's really not much to watch out for. Uh, it's a fairly easy fight, just do Warlock things. The Bleeds will do good damage, even though like, you have the Fatigue, so you're not really going to be critting much here. But since you can use the Bleeds, it doesn't really matter. And yeah, I have two points in Rico for this, I believe. Um, so my special twos will give slightly more power back and everything. And yeah, it's a pretty easy fight with Warlock. And then we're going to have a Claire with Warlock afterwards, um, which is a little bit more tricky. For this one, you actually kind of want to care about the debuff since it's the weakness and since you really don't want this fight going long. Um, we do uh, play very cautiously to play around the debuff so I don't have to um, deal with either the Fury or the longer fight. Really don't want to be dealing with any of that. Um, thankfully, the fight goes very, very quickly. Um, it's, it is a Claire, so she has a tiny health pool, which really helps speed up fights like this, and it's a big part of why Warlock is such a great option for this, even with my R3 Warlock, we're gonna be melting Claire, and yeah, we're doing a good job at keeping the debuffs off here. Um, thankfully her special one has a great animation for, uh, keeping the debuffs off, which is kind of the reason why I don't really like this placement too much, you can keep those debuffs off fairly easily with um most of the options for the fight but it can do some options winning just not too hard of a fight as you can see 25 seconds and yeah and then we have the scroll with Rinshaw. this is definitely my hardest fight of the war and the node 53 mini boss i had these are these were my two hard fights so bubble shield for scrolls l2 here is the main worry that's why it's placed um so i'm using Rinshaw so i can just eat the L2, <laughs> and that's my thought process behind this, I knew I was going to be able to eat one L2, maybe two L2s, if it happened with Bubble Shield, um, so that's why I'm using him, and yeah, it's really difficult to keep Bubble Shield control, and all that, but we're going to do a decent job of it, and we're going to solo this fight, of course, here, he just gets a full combo on me, and twice in a row, which is really unfortunate. I throw my L2 in the block. I thought I had him hit, but yeah, this was really unfortunate. And then his special 2 got me rooted, got me energy vulnerability. This is just a really unfortunate position. But I'm like, okay, it's whatever. I can still salvage at this point in the fight. I'm not too worried about it. Just gonna go for my big L2. And yeah, we get 33 ruptures. Now, if I had gotten the first L2, this fight probably would have been over at this point. Um, but I missed the first L2, and that's why this started getting a bit dangerous. And that was really unfortunate. And yeah, we have to pay attention to Bubble Shield here, so we don't deal with the unblockable L2. Thankfully, get rid of the Bubble Shield there, and we full dex the heavy during Root, which is quite neat. Not that I needed the full dex it, but I <laughs> got it anyway, which is quite cool. And yeah, 30 Rupture L2, this, this is gonna end. And yeah. Now up for my Nick Fury fights. XK9 were running Max Coagulate, which is really interesting. You don't see many allies running Max Coagulate. Shows how serious they were taking this war. As you're gonna see, this fight goes a lot slower. Also, because I just messed up the strategy a little bit with knocking Hyperion down. Um, but yeah, it was running Max Coagulate, which is quite, quite neat. Um, as you're going to see, the fight is going a lot slower than it normally would. The Bleeds are only doing, what's that, 2.9k here? Normally, they do a lot more than that, of course. Um, so, yeah, Max Coagulate on defense. Really interesting to see that. Doesn't matter too much, but, yeah. Um, Invuln means these L3s are not a worry, and, yeah. The powers things take off a good bit of health, and this was my mistake, I did not need to throw the cell 2 I thought, normally, uh, if it wasn't running Max Coagulate, my L2 would have just killed there, so I was like, so kind of just went off that of based of, you know, what I would normally do. But, of course, with Max Coagulate, it doesn't kill here. 
So we have to wait that out a little bit. But it's not the end of the world. Still a very, very quick fight. And my next L2 kills. So that's great. And yeah. Next up we have a spider ham. No, I decided to run Sui's for this. Um, just because the last time I took this fight, I had issues with him not throwing specials, and I felt better about me being in control of the dangerous part, rather than Spider-Man being in control of the dangerous part, so I decided to run Sui's, just to end it before he could get any, um, he could get a chance to be passive. Um, I'm not sure if the spider Ham was running Max Coagulate or not, I know the spot after it was running Max Coagulate, but not sure if the spider Ham was, um... It's hard to tell sometimes. Probably like one or two points in coagulate is what I would guess. And yeah, this combo just ends it. And yeah, pretty quick fight. And then we have a Havoc on 36. Um, Very, very easy fight with Warlock. Not much to it. Just spam your L2s and the fight will be over very quickly. Of course, we're healing up. This is the war for second place at the moment. Both us and XK9. Uh, before this, it only had one loss for the season. Um, so, very important war. And yeah, we're using another PS1. Just trying to end this as easily as possible. And yeah, I mean, not much to say about this fight. But, just a very, very quick one. With Warlock. You don't want to throw heavies. Because uh, the heavies will put plasma debuffs on you from the bleeds. But other than that, there's not much that can go wrong here. And yeah. Just got to throw your L2s and the fight will end like that. And yeah. Now, finally, we have this node 53 spot. Now it's running max coagulate and it's a spot. So it's going to be a very slow fight, there's a lot to pay attention to, a lot of weird animations. I decide to play this extremely cautiously, I, you know, block all of the specials, I just play very cautiously for everything about this fight, because spot is really tricky animations, and it's Nick Fury, so I don't need to worry about the block damage. And yeah, we eat a combo there to start the fight, which is really rough, and yeah. But after that, we play pretty much flawlessly, so not too mad about the fight. And now here, he gets untouchable, I realize, just in time. Yeah, now we're just baiting out specials. Uh, Spot's really stingy in this fight. And, yeah. You gotta keep baiting those specials, but it's really hard to bait them from Spot, because he has these really funky AI interactions. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's no real danger in this fight, because I have second life available to me, and yeah, not too worried about this fight. Just block all those hits, waiting for Spot to give me more openings, and yeah, here he stops getting many untouchable charges for a while, which is interesting. And two full combos without a single charge, and yeah. And no untouchable for the fifth there either. And yeah, we can throw our L3 and then this fight. I don't know why I didn't just immediately throw the L3, but here we throw it, of course. Um, and yeah, fight's over like that. And yeah, that's all for this sword. Thank you to my Patreon supporters and your Donnie. And yeah, take care, guys. Appreciate